Okay, guys, I'm just going to keep this really short, hopefully under 10 minutes, because the bell's going to go. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is just a review where we ended yesterday, and that was we actually worked on these individual parts. Uh, let me put the edges on for a second. Top of the pillar, bottom of the pillar, and this, this concrete detail all um, separately. And what we want to do as a review, just make sure that these three polys or three um, you know, shapes or forms, objects, assets, whatever you want to call it, are in one texture sheet. Okay, that's the key. So what you do is you like uh, if you wanted to um, like make one image. I'll show you right in here. So we're going to take a snapshot here, and it's kind of like going from yesterday. And I'm just going to bring it into uh, Sketchbook Pro, and I'll also do it in Photoshop for you guys if you want. Uh, Sketchbook Pro is free. So we're taking a snapshot here just as a review right here, 2048. That's actually extreme. What, extreme. what was I thinking? Okay, um, I'll just take it to 1024. And if I click here, it should go to 1024. My pillar, interior textures. Let's go over here and see. Um, what I'm going to call it. It's inside my interior textures. I'm going to say um, my pillar underscore 01 and from tool settings it's save and where is it over here? PNG or JPEG it's fine. Um, okay uh, whatever you're comfortable with. PNG at least has no background in, uh, for us. So apply and close. Okay so if I start up my uh, sketchbook pro here you'll see that um, I'm just gonna do some really simple shapes real fast so I'm just gonna go to file open as opposed to add image okay it's one of the few times that I'll go to you I'll say to you guys go to uh, file open alright so Glade 11 texturing interior texture I'll just click here and see my most recent right here PNG boom it should open up and we've got absolutely nothing in here probably because we can't see anything there <laughs> Okay, I'm going to make this black after. Oh, yeah, look at that, eh? Sweet. Okay, so this is where our texture is. So just like in Photoshop, you'd go to T for text and go um, UVs. This is my original UVs, and I'll leave it at that, and I'm going to make another layer and come underneath it, okay? Classic right in here, okay? So right off the bat, I'm just going to use my uh, rectangle tool here, and I'm going to stop using my mouse here. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just click over here, and we're making pillars obviously and I'm gonna hold shift same as a marquee tool in Photoshop and oh, what was that that was cool I just got a secondary menu by okay let's just go to shift it's not working shift come on okay something like that and um, why don't I just do it like this really big I'm just gonna overshoot it for a second there's that shape second shape hold shift you can actually have these on separate layers but right now I'm just working really fast um, I'm just gonna go minus here basically this is a way of basking in this application okay so we'll just go like that and add shift again come over here and boom okay so that was a little much it's okay I overshot it not a problem I'm gonna take a base color here and um, yeah let's just go over here get the paint bucket and drop so these are your three areas so if I don't do anything and I'm not hiding anything here I'm gonna keep my UVs on on purpose and I'm just gonna click command s okay now this app of course is gonna say hey buddy you, you know uh, it's not in TIFF so right now my pillar PNG watch what happens in Maya okay we'll go to Maya and I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna click on the top one object so watch boom over here and control A and we're gonna go and of course I didn't somehow get rid of the history and makes no sense click here and go to file okay so let's see if we can find our file it's not it's in my uh, desktop unfortunately and I'm gonna come over here grade 11 texturing and there's uh, interior textures my pillar PNG now watch what's gonna happen here is that cool and I'm gonna click on this guy here and apply it as well right here again file find your file belly and here we go my pillar PNG boom you better work okay cool so without doing anything other than applying colors Maya knows where this where all these pieces are so don't get confused you're not see we've already this is our texture sheet in here like that okay and then boom boom look at that isn't that nice so that's it so what I'll do later um, 
and, I'll, and I'm just gonna paint brush in here using a bunch of stuff so that's not bad right that's really cool I think okay back to sketchbook pro or Photoshop makes no difference for me but I'm just trying to suggest um, using a free app for you guys so watch this if I lock this up right now and I'm gonna right here um, get my is there a wand in here yes there is click and watch this I can make a new layer and I can make this one a different color for example okay so I'll get the paint bucket and drop command D so that's one on there come on show up there you go lock it so that's becomes its own layer right I can come back here get my magic wand same thing as Photoshop right there and I'll make a new layer I could have done this initially but it's not that bad right take the paint bucket change the color for now it doesn't matter okay I'm just dropping colors boom and lock it right away so that becomes individual so I'll come back over here uh, let's go to my uh, magic wand click in there and make a new layer and drop a new color okay wow I'm really digging these colors I'm kidding okay magic uh, okay there it is paint bucket command D so you see you can actually have each one of these on its own layer right you can have fun and then watch what I'll do right now and I'm just gonna go uh, command s nothing else press ok and let's see if we can update them in Maya my apologies here we go boom click on this and then watch come back here and then go uh, reload done sweetness come over here it's already done he already did it automatically on this one and so did this one sweet isn't that nice all of them are reloaded so that's just me applying colors I love it and then I was demoing this in class and then we're gonna make our own really cool textures uh, I'm gonna bring in um, references 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 before I start painting that will be the next tutorial nice short and sweet bellying out so you basically learned how to put a texture on uh, from your own hard work how to unwrap the UV move and so all that good stuff we can do even cool textures like this it's really awesome okay uh, this is this is all right bowing out see ya